Hello, I'm Debbie. Welcome, and thank you for spending some time with me. I really, really appreciate it. Earlier this week, I was looking up the music that will be played during King Charles's coronation. There will be several new compositions by a diverse group of composers, which have been commissioned directly by King Charles, along with more traditional classical compositions, one of which, Zadok the Priest by Handel, has been played at coronations starting with the 1727 coronation of King George II. I had never heard of that piece, so I listened to it and just reveled in the majesty of the composition. I started thinking about what the music we listen to means to us and how often music is able to best convey what we are feeling or experiencing. Throughout history, poets and authors have expressed the value and importance of music. Shakespeare wrote in The Merchant of Venice, the man that hath no music in himself, nor is moved with concord of sweet sounds, is fit for treasons, stratagems, and spoils. The motions of his spirit are dull as night, and his affectations dark as Erebus. Let no such man be trusted. Tolstoy wrote, music is the shorthand of emotion. While Maya Angelou wrote, music was my refuge. I could crawl into the space between the notes and curl my back to loneliness. Religions place an emphasis on music as a part of worship and or ritual. There are numerous references to music throughout the Bible, most notably in the Book of Psalms. Therefore, what Handel composed for King George II's coronation conveyed the gravity joy, spiritual significance, and celebration of that event. When I am feeling joyful or mournful, there is music that is able to express my feelings in a way that I am otherwise unable to express. Throughout my life, there have been songs that have marked times, events, and deep-seated thoughts. Growing up, it was the music of my parents, all the Mitch Miller songbooks, and episodes of the Lawrence Welk show. Yeah. <laughs> During the 1960s, it was the Beach Boys, the Beatles, and other groups. When I was in junior high and high school, I would often come home from school and listen to the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour album, especially the song Full on the Hill, as it represented the aloneness that I would often feel as did People Are Strange by the Doors. At church, there are specific hymns and praise songs that express my belief, hope, and joy. To this day, how great thou art and amazing grace are my go-tos when I want to honor God. The lyrics are deep, expressive, and based on scripture, helping me to honor the God of creation and the King of Kings. And connecting back to Handel again, Having the opportunity to sing the Messiah put doctrine, faith, worship, and celebration together. At times, singing the lyrics to songs may help lift our spirits or just help us to better express our joy, our love, our fears, and our hopes. However, music is also able to influence our moods. When anxious or stressful, music is able to soothe us and calm us. In my car, I have presets for serious channels that play music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, along with thematic choices, such as classical beat music, etc. As different types of songs and music are able to bring up memories, every time I hear Blackwater by the Doobie Brothers, I always visualize driving around Santa Barbara with my college girlfriends. And we would all take a different part of the melody or the harmonies and just sing as loud as we could. Such great memories, such great times. So yes, I am looking forward to watching the coronation of King Charles III, along with looking forward to hearing the music. The music will be setting the stage for this historic state and religious event. In the meantime, though, I will be enjoying music that will be fun encouraging, and maybe at times serious. And as written in Judges 5.3, Hear this, you kings. Listen, you rulers. I will sing to the Lord. 
I will sing. I will make music to the Lord, the God of Israel. So with that, take care. And I hope you will have a week of wonderful and expressive music in your life and just have tremendous opportunities for joy and self-expression. And again, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I truly do appreciate it.